Welcome everybody, it is Crypto Moose, and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. We have Bitcoin pumping right now. So we are February 26, 2024. Again, February 26, 2024. So when you're watching this video, it's probably the next day, morning, whatever it is. So before we get started, we are going to talk about Bitcoin, um, why I think we're pumping right now, and where we can potentially expect to go. I do want to remind you all to kindly smash a like button, also subscribe, and comment whatever questions you have down below. So Bitcoin is pumping right now, and I'm starting to like it. So I'm just going to log out of this real quick. And if we take a look at the charts, we are at a 2.13 trillion dollar market cap, the highest we've been in a little while. So Bitcoin is leading the charts. We are 53 days away from the halving. So this is an estimate. Um, the halving is when the amount of rewards the miners receive for um, minting blocks, that gets reduced in half. So the remaining supply of Bitcoin, instead of earning six every block, you'll be earning like three. So let's take a look at the charts here. We hit a little bit higher a few hours ago. I did a live stream. Um, yeah, that was it. 56.6. I thought we were going to get to 57,000, but it just didn't happen. And of course, Michael Saylor is happy, right? So he's happier than the moose because quite frankly, he owns a lot more Bitcoin than the moose. Um, but on the year, up 137%. Um, from the low, we were at what? 16, 17,000. So <laughs> you, you're, you're crushing it. Like year to date is even higher, isn't it? What is that? Um, the third. So, I mean, you're just crushing it with Bitcoin. So a lot of it has to do with the ETFs. So there are a lot of major institutions. you got BlackRock, Fidelity. They are offering Bitcoin in the form of an ETF, an exchange traded fund. So you can now pick up Bitcoin as a, you know, um, traditional investor. So it's much easier to get now. Um, there's a little more regulation in that sense. So, yeah, it, it's really cool. We we have a lot of a lot of positivity happening with Bitcoin in particular. So, of course, we talk about Cardano on this channel. Other tokens. What what I think is going to happen is that tomorrow, probably when you're watching this video, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're gonna see ETH hit a new another stride. So ETH pump before Bitcoin. It's weird. I, I'm seeing these. You guys can comment down below. But I'm seeing like weird pumps this in this, um, you know, the, this next stage of crypto, if you will. So, you know, you, you kind of saw the gaming just go nuts. I know that has to do with, you know, um, you know, the fact that they've been down so much. But really, typically, Bitcoin leads the way. Then it's Ethereum. Then it's everything else. But Solana's kind of steady. Hasn't done too much. 6%, but not crazy for, you know, such a big alt. But look at this. On the week, Pepe is crushing. So if you have some Pepe, you're doing well now. But again, depending on when you got in though, right? Because, you know, if it was like three months ago, I don't think it would have been as well. 24 hour, you got Pepe, Theta, Pyth Network. So I believe that's like a new Solana project. You got Stacks, Bonk, that's a meme. So the memes might start to go. And again, Bitcoin's going to lead the way. Then typically it's ETH and then ADA and all the other alts, and then the low cap. We need the low caps to go nuts, right? So again, if we take a look, cryptocurrencies, ADA, 62 cents. So ADA is, is going to fly this week if Bitcoin continues to rally a bit. But really, you got to get above this, this right here, this latest kind of high. So if Bitcoin smashes through six, 65 cents, it's probably going to go much higher. Um, so that's the Moose's TA, but it makes sense, right? You get, and then, and then once you hit a buck, it's just going to continue to go. Um, market cap, 22 billion for a project like that. Pretty low, pretty low. Um, so really that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Um, main thing is the having 53 days. Every day is one step closer, right? So that's something you want to think about. If you guys enjoyed this, we have a lot more videos coming out this week. We just did like top 10 
um, or sorry, top three hardware wallets. Um, we've done some Solana videos and more. So what I want you guys to do, if you want to, check out the EDA plates. You can mint one of those. You can pick up a Loose Moose NFT. If you guys don't have a hardware wallet yet, you should. Best way to protect your assets, Trezor Model T. A little more expensive, but if you can afford it, pick one up. Then we have the Tangium. Tangium is it's a great everyday carry. So use code Moose. It will be um, in this link right here. So click the link. This is all in the link tree. Go to Get Tangium, and then make sure you put in code Moose. It'll save you 10% on that. So that's about it. Other than that, we have online courses. So we get the free Ada Mini course, and then we also have paid courses on Udemy. So type in Mitchell Bouchard or just go to the link tree and we have all the links for you. You can also join the um, Discord. So I am a little more active in the Discord now. We're building that out and that's about it. So it's all we got. Hopefully Bitcoin will go much higher. I think we're going to hit 60,000 this week. That's, that's what I would bet, not financial advice. But I think Bitcoin is, is about to make some some major leaps and bounds. So we'll see you guys in the next one.